I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. We just finished up this piano. We did absolutely nothing on the outside. This actually fits perfectly with, with our customer's vision of, of what she's looking for. She actually found this piano on, online um, for uh, very, very inexpensive. It was in a disastrous condition and asked me if, uh, if we could fix it up and we did quite a bit of work. So, so this is one of the somewhat uncommon, most, most of the restorations that we do, as you can see, we've got lots of restorations. We do a 360, lots of restorations. It's not exactly clean right now, but lots going on right now. Most of these are family heirlooms. They're, they're sentimental and so that's the main motivating factor. This is one of the, the less common um, motivating factors behind behind doing all of that restoration work, uh, namely that, it, that her house is 100 years old. Um, she's, uh, she's, she's just like this very hip, kind of artsy, um, uh, bubbly, she, she, she seems like an artist to me. Um, just, she's just been a complete pleasure to work with. Um, and this piano just kind of fits. I haven't been to her house personally, but I'm guessing that, that this piano will like fit perfectly in with her, with her 100 year old Provo, Provo home. Like I said, absolutely nothing on the outside except the keys. I guess the keys are, are part, of the, uh, part of the exterior kind of overall presentation of the piano. And I guess we polished up the pedals and we did, and we did put new casters on so it can actually roll around and, and I would assume, being in a hundred-year-old home, she probably has hardwood floors, so that will not, uh, not damage the floors. Okay, but inside, that's where the magic was. And this thing is a beast. Okay, so like I said, it was in very poor condition, as is to be expected for a turn-of-the-century piano. But we've changed that. Okay, we did not do a full restoration, but almost. So, so the plate is original, which is kind of cool. Usually we refinish the plate and it's an automotive paint, but this is original and it's still kind of cool. We did put new strings on it. And you see all of those strings are brand new. They're, they sound amazing. Yeah, big powerful bass. That's, that's amazing what these old pianos can do when, when you've got new hammers and new strings. You get combined with, combined with the, what is this? 54 inches, 56 inches tall, something like that. Giant soundboard, the old engineering of turn of the century. These, these guys absolutely knew what they were doing 100 years ago in their, in their uh, engineering of, of these pianos. And uh, a, a lot of people uh, I've noticed, have, have, they, they write these old pianos off. They just say they're, they're worthless and they just need to be thrown in the dump. And I think that's a heartbreaking idea. There are no more pianos that are going to be manufactured between 1890 and 1930. What was manufactured during that period, that's it. So when they're gone, they're gone. So we may as well restore them. Okay, so not only new strings and new hammers, we've got new dampers on here and uh, new damper heads on, in the base. The, the uh, shanks are new. Lots of lots of new parts we've uh, in the like felt and leather and cloth. We've got um, uh, everything properly aligned and lubricated and regulated. New bushings and oh, the the hammer butts have been refurbished. So bolster bolster the hammer butts so that the the indentations where they they've been used for for decades are are no longer flattened. Repin repinning on the hammer butts so that they're not floppy. But they just they just go one direction back and forth, and they have the right amount of of uh, friction. Everything down here, underneath, has been entirely rebuilt. You can see that all of that is referred to as trap work. Everything down below, having to do with the pedals. So all of that has been rebuilt, and uh, and it's 
gorgeous and brand new and fully functional and ready for another 100 years of use. Anyway, really pleased with how this one turned out. Let's listen to it. Yeah, I do like this piano. It's inspiring to play. I think she's going to really enjoy it. And her kids, she's got a bunch of kids, so, so they're going to have fun with this piano.